Parkinson's patients stop swinging their arms because there is a dopamine deficiency. This dopamine deficiency causes a reduction in your ability to move with the ease with which you move. Also, it causes rigidity. Both these combine to reduce the arm swing. Now, what happens is that patients with time as the dopamine levels drop down, they become slower and slower, they start shuffling, they start crouching a little bit. All this leads to a little bit of imbalance. This is more so when they're stuck at the doors or when they're turning around on uh, their own. So this is the reason basically why they stop swinging. It takes a few years for this to evolve. Initially, it may be very gradual and this reduced arm swinging may be the first sign that we see in Parkinson's patients that we can make out clinically. Other things they can have for many years before, they can have constipation, they can have dreams in the night, they can have disturbed sleep, bladder problems, all this can happen many years before, but these are not very obvious to the eye of the clinician. We have to ask for them. But what is obvious to us is that this reduced arm swing is one of the earliest signs that we see if the patient doesn't have tremor. Of course, the patient can always have tremor and come for the first time with a little bit of tremor on that side and have a reduced arm swing when we make them walk. So with this combination of tremor with the reduced arm swing is almost always diagnostic of Parkinson's. But if it is only tremor, then it's very difficult sometimes to make out from essential tremor. Essential tremor by and large is symmetric. But in case patients who have Parkinson's disease, you can have an asymmetric rest tremor, unlike essential tremor, which can be on stretching your arms out or doing a purposeful movement. So that is the difference between essential tremor and Parkinson's disease. The reduced arm swing can increase with time. It can spread to the other side also. The point of the thing is to realize that the reduced arm swing is basically because of reduced dopaminergic deficit. This can be countered by treating with medicines. And once we give levodopa, the arm swing can become more or less normal during the on times. Off time, it may come down. And off time, you can get the symptoms becoming severe over time. So the reduced arm swing is basically a problem with the motor program. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.